Hello everybody, this is Jim from Scrap and Posh, and I am here to uh, do some organizing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have been organizing my scrapbook room. Uh, I took out all my crafty stuff that's not related to scrapbooking and um, moved that to the basement. But our basement has uh, some moisture problems, so I couldn't move my paper. So now this room is just uh, scrapbooking or paper crafting. So I had four bins full of scraps and I took one day and it was 12 hours on that day to organize those bins. And then I also used my Stampin' Up punches and stamps to make some sentiments and I just picked one and I, so now I have these over here and what else I did I took I went through all my old envelopes and papers and I got these little containers by Well, they had a label on them. Um, I wanted to say, I don't think it's Pink Paisley, but it was it was a paper crafting company. And I put all my A5 envelopes in here. Uh, some of those envelopes had cards with them or paper to be folded into cards. I made those. And then I also took one of my paper packs and it was a yellow and gold one or yellow gold and like browns uh, and I made all A5 size cards out of those and my scraps getting back to what I was talking about I cut down into five and three eighths by four and an eighth which is a perfect base page size to go on here with a sixteenth inch border around all sides so I ended up with this all base size cards and then what did not fit in that category which were scraps that were smaller than four and eighth by five and eighth but possibly still coordinate well do still coordinate with those papers because they came from those papers go into this bin and I may take this a step further and cut out some probably ATC size cards. I would say Project Life cards, but I already have so many Project Life cards that I just don't think I need anymore. So maybe some die cuts, definitely some die cuts, and then some ATCs. So that's what I have going on. Now, what I have left out of the four bins that I put the posted the picture on is this one bin. And the reason why I haven't done this bin yet is because I wanted to do it with you to show you guys how simple it can be to make cards out of scraps. These scraps are very, uh, well, these scraps are a little different because they are paper collections. Everybody knows I make mini albums and these are collections that I have left over from mini albums that I separated my handle just fell off of my basket years ago and I think every single one of these you can probably find at least a share video on some of them I didn't do tutorials on because I wasn't doing tutorials but I have at least done share videos this is the DCWV Kid Lit Collection, I believe. This is the Paper Studio Beach House Collection. This one is, I think, Paper Studio Fun House. I, I put Fun House on there, but not the company. Um, this was uh, Bow Bunny. Uh, let's see. It is... Well, bunny. Uh, 
uh, back reversible heavyweight camp a lot and then um, this was a DCWV collection it was also nature um, I have a fun winter collection the DCWV um, I think it was North Pole possibly I also have this six by four in that one this one was I think a bow bunny collection it's pink and gray this is the DCWV all dressed up authentique back to school I think it was uh, this was from my Tim Holtz album so there's two Tim Holtz uh, paper pads and then we have some uh, paper studio poetic justice and then just some vintagey ones so this will be fun DCWV Mariposa DCWV <laughs> testing my knowledge guys um, Black Current DCWV Stardust and Graphic 45 Don't tell me Bohemian I want to say Rhapsody but it's not Bohemian Bazaar okay so those are the paper collections that I have and I certainly don't think that I will get through all of the paper collections today my handle broke but um, yeah we can definitely start the reason why I chose to share some of sorting through this paper versus the other paper is to show you just how easy it is to take um, scraps from coordinating collections and make cards out of them so I'm taking some of the smaller collections here that don't have a lot of scraps out and we can start with those because I like progress and the less there is of something the faster you get through it so um, my thinking behind this is that I'm definitely going to end up making some more card bases and probably more sentiments and then we'll see what we have as far as like things to put on the cards because I can always pull in some die cuts or anything like that so we're going to put everything else off to the side and start with what I think is the smallest collection and then the first thing we're going to do is cut it up I'm going to speed you guys up because nobody wants to sit here and watch this in real time 